This video depicts interference at the nose landing gear mechanism when the gear is operated with the nose oleo strut not inflated to the proper nitrogen pressure. This clip shows normal operation of a nose retract and extension. Here is a different view. According to the Cessna 310 service manual, Proper inflation of a nose gear oleo strut is evidenced by having at least two inches of exposed chrome piston at the nose gear when the aircraft is sitting level at the ramp and should be part of a pre-flight inspection. This allows for the oleo strut fully extending when the aircraft lifts off the ground, therefore clearing the gear door hinge as shown here when the gear retracts after takeoff. When the aircraft was inspected after the gear collapse incident, the nose gear oleo strut was found to measure only one and an eighth of an inch. At this measurement, full extension of the oleo strut is not guaranteed. The fork will not clear the door hinge and in fact interference results. The continued operation of the landing gear hydraulic electric pump puts undue stress on the landing gear mechanism, resulting in failure of the weakest link in the gear mechanism, that is the bell crank shown here. Once this bell crank breaks, the nose gear dangles disconnected from the rest of the landing gear retract system. 